humans are creatures of habit. God made us that way so we could multitask. We've been created with the capacity to do routine, repetitive tasks without thinking, so we could use our mind for other more important things. For example, in the morning when you're brushing your teeth, are you thinking about every tooth or are you planning your day? But driving is where most of us have habits. I had the problem that when I would get in the car, I would immediately start driving to work, regardless of what the task really was. And I remember driving my kids, or attempting to drive my kids to school, and I would be heading off to work. And the kids would have to say, no dad, school, school. And I'd have to turn the car around and take them to school. Because my mind, once I was in the car, I was going to work, and my mind was somewhere else. So we form habits because they allow us to do things that benefit us. But Habits can be good or bad, productive or destructive. Now, today I want to talk to you about how to break bad habits. Now, the first question to ask is, do you have any bad habits? Now, I know you're fine that you don't have any, but you actually aren't the right person to ask. I need to talk to your spouse or someone you live with. So if you're wondering if you have bad habits, ask them. Then the second question is, do you want to change? Do you think they're bad? Because if you don't think they're a problem and you don't want to change, you can turn the video off right now because you don't need anything more I'm going to say. But don't pretend you're trying to change your behavior to your spouse. That will just cause endless conflict and frustration. But you need to know that if you recognize a bad habit and you do want to change, Jesus is standing by waiting to help you. And if you allow him to assist you, you will be successful. Now the next step is why are you doing it? You see, all habits are based on beliefs. And you need to find out what are you believing that makes you continue that habit. Because if you're going to change a habit, you have to change your beliefs about it. So you need to ask Jesus, what lie are you believing that has convinced you that you need this habit? And then ask him, what reward are you getting from this habit? because Jesus needs to show you what's going on. Then the next thing is, where did this lie come from? What's the root of it? What happened in the past that caused you to start believing this lie? Because see, most lies start when you've had some experience that caused emotional pain. And at the time, you believed a lie that you felt would ease the pain. And that could have led you into a habit that you felt would ease the pain, and then you felt it was useful, and so you just kept doing it. And then you need to ask Jesus, what's the truth that you need to know? Because it's the truth that will set you free. You need to know the truth about what happened in that painful memory. You need to know the truth that will break the power of the lie. You need to know the truth about the habit that Jesus wants to speak to you about changing that habit. And you need supernatural help with this. Because these are not easy tasks. Even in AA, they say you have to turn to a higher power to change your habits. So Jesus is waiting to assist you, to speak to you, to show you what you believed, because you will only change your habit if you change what you believe. Now, some of you may just find that your habits are overwhelming and you feel paralyzed by it. Well then, ask for help. Talk to a counselor. Contact me. I'd be happy to help you. But don't stay stuck. If Jesus is talking to you right now about your bad habits, and you feel par paralyzed to change them, talk to us. To live a transformed life, you need to allow Jesus to, to break you free of your bad habits. Now I want to hear from you. How have you been able to conquer habits that you thought were insurmountable with Jesus' help? Just leave your testimony in the box below because we want to hear of your victory because it will encourage others. And if this is your first visit here, you need to get my free self-assessment guide. And to do that, just subscribe to my weekly email newsletter by filling out the subscription form. And you know where it is. It's always right there. And I'll talk to you again next week. But this week, ask Jesus, where did my habits come from? And what's the truth so I can break them?